Alright class, welcome to lesson 6.6, .6, add and subtract mixed numbers. Let's begin by taking a look at our essential question. How can you add and subtract mixed numbers with unlike denominators? So let's start by looking at our word problem. Denise mixed 1 and 4 fifths ounces of blue paint with 2 and 1 tenth ounces of yellow paint. How many ounces of paint did Denise mix? Well, let's look at this step by step. First of all, what operation should you use to solve the problem? Well, when it says we mixed one and four fifths ounces of blue paint with two and one tenths, how many ounces of paint did Denise mix? Well, since we've got two different ones and it just wants to know how many ounces, we know that we should use addition because it's com asking us to combine or all together how many ounces, and we know that all together does mean to use addition. So let's look at the next one. Do the fractions have the same denominator? Well, we've got one and four fifths, and we have one tenth. They do not have the same denominator, so no, they do not. So to find the sum of mixed numbers with unlike denominators, you can use a common denominator. We're basically going to do the exact same way that we have been doing. So the first thing we're going to do is estimate the sum. Well, we've got one and two fifths, and we've got two and one tenths. And one and two fifths would actually round to, because remember our benchmarks, one, I'm sorry, one and four fifths, I said two fifths. One and four fifths would actually round, since we're only one, piece away from the whole, it would round to two. And since we've only got one piece out of the 10 miss missing, we would round to our benchmark of the whole number, so it would be two plus two equals four would be our estimate. So let's look at step two. It says to find a common denominator. Use the common denominator to write equivalent fractions with like denominators. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find a common denominator between 10 and 5. And so in order to do that, we need to list our multiples of 5 and 10. So let's do that to begin with. 5, 10, 15, 20, and then let's look at our 10. 10, 20, 30, and we can already stop because we see the least common denominator between the two is the 10. So that we can use the denominator of 10 and the denominator of 10. So if we do that, our denominator stays the same over here, or our fraction stays the same over there. And then we know that in order to get 5 multiplied by 2 equals 10, Whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So 4 times 2 equals 8. So then we have 1 and 8 tenths and 2 and 1 tenths. So if we add these together, it's going 8 plus 1 is 9 tenths and 1 plus 2 is 3. And we, you'll see that we just did, we added the fractions and then added the whole numbers and write the answer in simplest form and that is going to be the simplest we can do it. So Denise mixed three and nine tenths ounces of paint. Now let's look at our questions down below. Explain how you know whether your answer is reasonable. Well, now let's take a look at another example, except this time we're actually going to be subtracting mixed numbers. So our fraction is or a mixed number is 4 and 5 6 minus 2 and 3 fourths. So it says you can also use a common denominator to find the difference, difference is the answer to a subtraction problem, of mixed numbers with unlike denominators. So the step one is to estimate the difference. And since we're looking at the fraction 5 6, we see that we have 5 out of the 6 parts present, so we're only missing one part. So we know that we can round 4 and 5 6 to 5. Now, when we look at our next mixed number, we see we also have a fraction of 3 fourths, which means that we have 3 out of the 4 pieces present, 
which means that we're only missing one. So when we look at that one in round, we can round to three. And we know that five minus three equals two. So our next step says to find a common denominator. Use the common denominator to write equivalent fractions with like denominators. So in order to find our common denominator, we have to list our multiples of six and four. So let's begin with six, 12, 18, 24, and 30. Then we look at four, eight, 12, and we notice we can already stop because we have a common denominator multiple of 12. So we can use 12 as our denominator for both fractions. Now to find our equivalent fractions, we know that we have to multiply 4 times 3 to equal 12, and whatever we do in the denominator, we have to do with the numerator. So 3 times 3 equals 9. Now let's look at the top fraction. We know that we multiply 6 times 2 to equal 12. Whatever we do with the denominator, we also have to do with the numerator. So 5 times 2 equals 10. So now we have equivalent fractions of 10 twelfths and 9 twelfths. So our next step says to subtract the fractions. So we know that 10 minus 9 equals 1. Our denominator does not change since we're subtracting fractions. And then it says subtract the whole numbers and we're going to write the answer in simplest form. And our whole numbers were four minus two and that would be two and one twelfths. Now it says to explain how you know whether your answer is reasonable. Well, we know that our answer is reasonable because when we look at our estimated number of two, our estimate equals two, and our answer, two and one twelfth, is very close to two, so we know that our answer is reasonable. Okay, so now, so, so now let's go ahead and pull out your math journals and let's begin taking our notes for today's lesson, adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Remember that you can push pause at this moment so that you can get all the notes copied down. Let's take a look at our password for tonight's lesson. It says Sarah placed three and five eighths quarts of strawberries and two and one eighths quarts of strawberries of blueberries in a bowl. How many quarts of fruit did Sarah place in the bowl? Is it one and four eighths quarts, five and five sixteenths quarts, five and six eight quarts, or five and seven eighths quarts? Make sure you record your answer in your journal and bring it with you to class on Monday. See you then. Thank you.